Um, I'm Jen from yesterday, and with me today is Joe, who was a student aide at DTLT last year. Once upon a time. He left us. <laughs> Not willingly, of course. Don't put it like that. Well, we're here to talk today about a couple things. The first off being that there are a couple complaints. A major protest <laughs> happened within the DTLT <laughs> office yesterday. Basically centering around the fact that our program yesterday was too Jim Groom centric. The universe is not Jim Groom centric. We proved that thousands of years ago. <laughs> Millions even. <laughs> <laughs> Back when the dinosaurs were around. Um, but um, to compensate for that today, we decided to have... I don't think they're on. Oh. Oh, we're not on? Did you click broadcast? We click yes, we definitely broadcast. are broadcasting. We're having technical difficulties. Apparently. Well, you're not. Okay, now, go. We're going? We're going? Can oh. you hear me? Yep, it's going to go. Okay. Okay, let's start. Someone else had the stream. Now it's open. Oh, now it's oh, open. Oh, now it's open. All right, we're restarting <laughs> our DTLT Exposed, Exposed Ex broadcast. <laughs> um, <laughs> Introducing self again. <laughs> um, I'm Jen. I was here yesterday with the show with Lee. And with me today is actually Joe, who was a student aide last semester. And he left us due to unforeseen circumstances. Uh, unforeseen <laughs> events. <laughs> My name is not Lee. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we decided to do a show today focused more on um, the setup of DS106 TV for a couple of reasons. Once, one meaning that last yesterday there was a major uproar and complaint and protest staged by DTLT because yesterday's program was too Jim Groom centric. Being Jim Groom centric is not very healthy. Nope, not at all. Psycho it's just it's major little, psychosis. Little too much. This show is still deep Jim Groom centric now. It's not that Jim Groom centric. We are anti Jim Groom centric. We today is anti Jim Groom day. Stop talking about Jim Groom. So we want to make a show featuring Andy Rush and Martha Burtis. Unfortunately, we're not featuring Martha Burtis today because she is not here. So in order to fully appreciate the show with Martha Burtis, we will have to wait till she's here. This is also me saying this so she doesn't kill me. <laughs> so she can appreciate that we would have had a Martha Burtis episode were but she here. She's not here. <laughs> so today's Andy Rush. And actually, doing this episode is kind of interesting because I think yesterday um, somebody by the name of Scott Lowe asked a question about the whole setup for DS 106 TV. And, well, Andy Rush played a major part in the setup. This is true. So we, we're also going to feature him and his favorite platypus. <laughs> now, unfortunately, <laughs> using the green screen, you'll notice that our platypus is actually in stealth mode. So the platypus <laughs> often goes in stealth mode that when near the fearful Jim Groom. No. Oh, back to Jim Groom. I'm so sorry. It's just a habit. It's horrible. <laughs> okay, if the name Jim Groom is mentioned, I'm cutting, I'm pulling the plug. <laughs> we're, Good. Okay. Anyway. I'm laughing too much. This is horrible. Now, the reason why we're featuring Andy Rush, um, Andy Rush... Um, Andy Rush offers a lot of technical expertise, especially in the realm of audio and visual equipment. And uh, so hopefully we'll be able to expose Andy Rush for the wonderful hero he is. And one of the ways we kind of want to expose Andy Rush is by showing this lovely... <laughs> <laughs> is by showing uh, the actual process that Andy Rush used in order to create our setup for DS-106 television. Yep. So we'll go. Please sit tight. As we <laughs> minimize. And oh my goodness, we have time lapse video of Andy Rush. This is him exposed. It's now, cool. notice the fashion of Andy Rush cargo <laughs> pants necessary for an audio visual guru. Purple shirt. Really? Tucked uh, in. Tucked in. Now, notice he has something in his back pocket. What do you think that object is in his back pocket? I was going to say phone, but it could be a wallet. That's true. I don't know. <laughs> now, we've changed the setup a little bit. The computer's actually in front of us now instead of on this, uh, the side yeah, of the table. Yeah, where the whiteboard is actually is where the green screen is located right now. Um, yeah, and the computer is in front of us. So the setup has definitely changed. Also, the tripod for the camera is, is in a different it, location. It's in a different location. Now, I just... That was so fast. You know, I really felt the rush right there. <laughs> yes. The rush was definitely there. It Should we watch it again? I, <laughs> In case anybody sure. wants to stay. It's a, it's I a mean, quick video. 
It's also really interesting because you get to see our office space. Now, actually, as you'll notice, our, the amount of equipment we, ha we have for this isn't too terribly much. It's, it's Until a pretty, now. It's a pretty straightforward setup. Now, we are using more complex mics now, but overall, it's, it's really straightforward and it's, and it's easy to set up with some basic equipment. Do you want to talk about the equipment that you use? We do have Andy Rush off, he is off, off screen. screen. He is here. He, I can answer any questions. And he's willing to answer questions. Um, why don't you switch back to the to the, to the actual green screen shot? All right. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. I got you. It's a Mac. Using I don't the really Mac use Max. Oh no. It's being bad. Video to finish first. Oh yeah. Okay. Now I should be good. Oh goodness. Nothing's popping so up. So it's not you. me. <laughs> no, there we go. Okay, so we're going to switch shots to that one. Yeah, here we go. Everyone sit tight. So, Ta -da. what we have now is the green screen. Which turns him <laughs> back to normal. Yes. And I can wear my uh, wonderful tie dye clothes again. Here's our representative. This is when he's in non stealth Indy mode. <laughs> Um, but again, to talk about your basic setup, you'll notice that we have one other microphone sort of off screen. Uh, yeah. We also have dynamic mics that we can use, but really... It's... Um, there's a lot of wires, but don't let that... Don't let the wires. amount of wires really fool you. We also have a... Say you use this for single, for um, single per person. For single people... Single people. <laughs> <laughs> single persons. For, for those... <laughs> for those who are Recently. alone and lonely. Because one is the loneliest number. Um, we have lavalier mics holding up the full set. <laughs> Perfect. Um, is there any way we could get a shot on the soundboard? Uh, we do have a soundboard as well. That we're... we just installed for this program. Oh, that's okay. We can kind of get off the side here. Um, and this is actually a pretty, s pretty small soundboard, but you don't, for, for sort of DS106 TV, you don't really need a, a large soundboard. Uh, yeah. Just the space for a couple of mics and to be able to, you know, do do some basic editing of sound and things like this. And Jim Groom, not to mention his name again, uh, is talking about how we fascinated. how we're linking the sound from the board into the camera. We have a basic cord that we plug into the um, out um, that we get going into the camera and it feeds back in. So it's a, it's a really good setup, and honestly, you know, just a little extra piece of technology like a soundboard can clean up your sound quite a bit uh, compared to just uh, sort of your smaller microphones, your cheaper microphones that you'd use on your camera. Or, your camera, or even your or, webcam. Yeah, webcam. Thank you. <laughs> uh, taking that extra step can really make a much more professional Jim Groom. No! This is a good Jim <laughs> Groom show now, bitches! <laughs> This was supposed to be anti-Jim Groom Day. This is anti-Jim Groom Day. This, this is, is Jim Andy Groom Rush. protest day. Also, as a side note, Andy Rush all, did pull out all the stops for today's episode just to show the audio levels because he is the audio I master. I felt like as today is Andy Rush Day, he was really trying to put on the full show, you mm -hmm. know. The full effect. The full effect. with the mics. And it just makes it more professional. And you know what? I noticed he's wearing cargo pants again today. And his shirt is tucked in. <laughs> All right, switch back to your DS106 right. logo. Switching. And we're switching back. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, and as you can see, the green screen is having negative effects on Joe's If, if you'll notice, uh, when d doing sorts of shows like these, you should really plan on what you're wearing. Tip, don't wear green. And <laughs> don't be a platypus. <laughs> Um, these are two things that will really inhibit your ability to have a great show. <laughs> and, and maybe, you know, don't be Jim Groom. Jim Groom is not the best performance. Is, no, um, but actually, is there anything you want to, like, add, like, suggestions for people who want to broadcast their own shows for audio? Like, do you have any recommendations for programs you use or, like, basic setups? We are actually, in terms of programs, we are using Wirecast, uh, and that's what we're using to do wonderful effects, uh, layering, and things like this. Uh, and Broadcast is fairly easy to use and get nice little things up, like, oh my gosh, there's a name. I'm working on some screencasts to kind of show how. Um, and Andy Rush is also working on screencasts. So 
you too at home can learn how to be like Andy Rush. And I think also he mentioned you mentioned working on a program with Twitter to feed in comments from people watching while watching the show so that way if you guys have a question or a comment we have an easier way of seeing the question or comment while the show while we're doing the show <laughs> so we can answer them right away I guess this is us thinking ahead there on the power curve there is a from the oh there is a question well, that... Timmy boy is asking, so say hi to Timmy boy. Hi, Timmy hey, Timmy boy. boy. Uh, is it XLR into the board and then line into the MacBook Pro? That's yes. exactly it. No, it's no. line no. out. No. It's line out no, to it's, the it's camera. XLR, it's XLR mics into the mixer and then line out of the mixer into the camcorder. Did I just say that? I said something like, akin so to that. So XLR line in, into the mixer. It's XLR line into the mixer, so all of our mic microphones use XLR. XLR into the mixer. And then, and then line out of the mixer to the camcorder. And then and line out of the mixer into the, the camcorder. camcorder. And then the firewire is firewire brings video and audio to the, to the computer. computer. Should you repeat that? No, do the whole thing. See if you remember the whole thing. What's happening? Okay, so we are we have microphones that are plugged into the soundboard, the XLR, uh, and then with the line out, we have we have the camera plugged into the line out of the soundboard. We also use firewire to connect all of that information that's being put into the camera into the computer, which we're editing with Wirecast. Which prevents the delay. And prevents the delay, apparently. In audio and video. Now, and one of the things that Timmy Boy said happened is that... And Jim Groom's talking right and now. And Jim Groom's talking? Wirecast He's trying to take over. Wirecast you to actually um, correct uh, audio when it's off of another camera. But that's only the pro version. We don't have the pro version. Now, we actually aren't using a pro version of Wirecast. Is Wirecast free? Wirecast is $450. $450. Um, There's a pro version that's $1,000, and that version has the audio delay tweaking capability. Now, so, it, okay, <laughs> thank you. Now, Wirecast, which is the program that we're, uh, Wirecast is the program that we're using, and Wirecast has two, uh, two versions, if you will. It has a basic version for its $450, and you have the pro version, which is 1000 So if you'll notice here, in the $1,000 one, it helps with Audio tweaking. Audio tweaking and delay issues that are between camera shots, yes. And also has some custom video yeah. sets. And, custom and it has sets. custom video sets and a lot of the bells and whistles that the basic version doesn't necessarily have. Now, all that being said, your basic wirecast, I mean, which you're putting in a lot of money to get this, is, is really high quality and very much so worth the investment. Everyone's kind of Especially looking. if you want to play with audio and video and this whole kind of simulcast um, experience. Now, Did I use the right word? Yes. <laughs> beautiful. Amazing. <laughs> it's, it's worth keeping in mind, though, that what we're doing here is kind of taking your basic sort of using a small camera and some audio equipment and taking that to the next level with a, a, a little bit more of a professional program. At least that's my view of it. Um, and so for those at home who maybe don't have that type of money for Wirecast, I'm sure that there are ways to do more free or cheaper programs. But if you're looking for high quality, you know, you're going to have to drop in some cash for it. And we're getting recommendations. We're getting from the recommendations from this uh, is, Deep um, Throat. <laughs> this is um, you who must not be named today is throwing in suggestions. Uh, one of the other programs that is being suggested is Cam Twist, as well as Boinks TV. Boinks TV. That's B O I N X TV. Yeah, and there's there's That's, lots of things, and yeah. you can use stream and live stream. There's all these other little things that you can you can use that are. Free, cheap, but really, Wirecast, I, I think, is the way to go. Especially some of these other, especially online programs, you're dealing with advertisement issues, and yep. uh, it can be kind of a hassle. And these sort of servers can go down. And, and the Andy Rush is talking on the whiteboard. Uh, UMWDTLT.org/slash new media for more details. Yes, visit that site. Oh wait, there's another slash. The Kit. Okay, so repeating again. It's <laughs> umwdtlt.org slash new media slash the kit. And there you can basically get more details on the adventures of Andy Rush. And <laughs> now, Andy Rush, actually, I'm going to, if I can tell an Andy Rush story. Yes. Um, this is Andy Rush go Day. Back to Jim <laughs> <laughs> no, actually. No, this is Andy Rush th Day. This is Andy Rush Day. And, and Andy Rush, as I had mentioned earlier, he brings in a lot of the technical skills for DTLT, especially in the audiovisual realm. He's our new media specialist. And 
you know, he's like the new media king. It's it's really it's it's quite beautiful. Um, like, I don't know. It's Andy Rush. What he brings in is like that extra oomph to basically in digital storytelling, yeah. because. <laughs> Jim Groom <laughs> might have the, the passionate, crazed ideology, but when but it comes to getting shit done... It's Andy Rush. It's Andy Rush. <laughs> 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 we, we just insulted. Uh, <laughs> you um, must not be named. Can I get a witness? <laughs> can I get a witness? <laughs> um, <laughs> but... <laughs> I think the important thing to understand, especially like in the whole digital storytelling concept, like the, from what I understand, is like approaching like all kinds of media in different ways. Like Jim Groom may provide the skeleton for digital storytelling, but the I zombie, think, uh, the zombie. <laughs> but Andy Rush like brings in like kind of more another methods and approaches to digital storytelling, like and how it can be done, and also the whole concept that new media can be, take a whole lot of different terms, and even the new media term is questionable because... Even new media is kind of old as a term. It is old. New media is do it yourself. That's right. <laughs> uh, you know, and Andy Rush actually offers a lot of... Uh, a lot. Andy Rush has done a lot of websites <laughs> on uh, new media and different tools and techniques. Uh, <laughs> He's really big on drinking right there. <laughs> um, <laughs> And so if you look up the, I believe it's the New Media Cookbook, Digital Media, Digital Cookbook, Media Cookbook, Cookbook. Dot com. Dot com. it has all sorts of uh, reviews on different programs and suggestions and ideas uh, for doing more digital media. I just wanted to bring that out there as a sort of uh, promo, or kind of pimp in the rush. Another ad for Feel the Rush. Feel the Rush. <laughs> the Rush, it's where it's at. But, yeah. Uh, I feel like we've, we've covered a lot of We did Andy Rush cover a lot of Andy Rush and, today. And it looks like... I feel like this is what I've been doing all, all day with this particular show. It's just going... We're actually puppet minions. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's the thing. We're actually just... You're cut off. <laughs> we, are, we are nothing but marionettes. <laughs> um, but I guess part of the whole DTLT exposed is not to make, sh make it obvious that DTLT is not just Jim, Jim Groom. Groom. Uh, so <laughs> I would say, like, if you have questions about Andy Rush and his work or comments or even questions for Martha Burnett's Day. <laughs> Martha Burnett's Day will be coming up in the future. We love you, Martha. <laughs> <laughs> next week? Yes, next week is Martha Burnett's Week. week. It will be talking about Martha Burtis and all the amazing things she does here. Hopefully, as long as she's not buried somewhere in Minecraft. Oh, yes. Minecraft is <laughs> like a new Beware of Minecraft. All of you Minecraft <laughs> users, I'm sure you're trapped under a tunnel somewhere being attacked by a creeper, if you know what I mean. So, be careful. Dig Beware. your way out. Dig Beware. your way out. <laughs> Hit some trees. <laughs> so, I really feel like DT, the, you know, DTLT Exposed is about exposing all of the members of DTLT, you know, getting everyone mm -hmm. a, a chance to see what DTLT is all about beyond the cult personality of, of Jim Groom, which I admit, I mean, I, I sip on I've the Kool-Aid. I've suffered from this. I, I love horrible. Jim Groom. I actually think about Jim Groom a lot. <laughs> I mean, he's very inspirational. With or without clothes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed to ask that question on air. <laughs> rather inappropriate comment just came. <laughs> um, However, it's important to realize that things like DS-106, it takes a group effort uh, on the part of everyone at DTLT, but also on the part of the participants as well. Uh, you know, the user-generated content from DS-106 has been wonderful. And yes, especially the Twitter feed and even like the DS-106 site. Radio like, and... Every day, like every day, every minute, like there, I feel like there's something new coming in. And especially, I don't know, I feel like my favorite thing to come out of that is the whole minimalist posters. I admit, I spent hours procrastinating on homework, looking at people's work, and it was awesome. <laughs> you can really say that, you know, while Random while Jim tangent. really kind of groomed the DS-106 class, you know, Andy really rushed fun. it to the forefront. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, that's where we should probably... That's where we should probably stop. Stop. I'm um, starting to wrap it up. I'm wrapping it up. Um, 
But yeah, that's about it. Actually, we do have a site at the request of Martha Burtis. We created a site on UMW Blogs. It's DTLT. Exposed. Dot <laughs> 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 com. Yeah, no, dot org. UMW Blogs dot org. So it's DTLT exposed, X, like the spelling with, no. at the bottom like of Xena, the screen. Like Xena, Xena Warrior Princess. And it's dot UMW Blogs dot org. And basically leave comments, feedback, suggestions there. If you have any questions about what DTLT does, or if you would like to see DTLT handle any of your personal life problems. Or the student aids. <laughs> leave a comment. And that will be all.